Hi everyone, it's Roger and Abe here from DizKingdom.com and in this episode we're going to be talking about the new um, D23 Expo um, merchandise catalogue that became available. There are hundreds, so I'm not kidding, two, there's, I think there's over 200 items available on this RSP merchandise list. Um, Abe is going to be at the event. So what from these um, list did jump out at you straight away? Uh, there's a lot. Um... <laughs> <laughs> To be honest with you, um, for me, I used to be into the whole um, the the event exclusive pins that they used to yeah, yeah. release, but there's just so much now. Um, I mean, I'm looking from the list. To be honest with you, I think I'm more interested now this time around in some of the Star Wars stuff they're showing off. Like, um, I do like I do like that. Um, that uh, R2 unit with the the Sorcerer Mickey hat on. Oh, yeah, yeah. That looks, that looks kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, no, that, one, that one looks cool. I mean, it's just there's so much uh, merchandise. Um, you know, there's l l dozens and dozens of pins. There's boxes, there's arts, there's T-shirts. There's, there's an Ewok plush. I mean... Yeah, I'm just trying. Yeah, there's so many pins, dude. It's like you can't keep up with them. There's this really cool... Um, this is really cool. Uh, I don't know if it's it's either a, a jewel or an ornament from Pandora. Uh, it's it's basically like the castle, mm. and it's like in a blue uh, blue like I think it's like sapphires or something like that. But uh, it's designed by Pan Pandora, and, it, and it's sixty dollars yeah. retail. But anyways, yeah, just I mean, some that, cool stuff. Yeah, I mean the R four droid. I mean it's thirteen dollars. It's not it's not too bad. I mean that Ewok plush just princess. Is it Kina? Kinisa? I can't pronounce it. Yeah, right. yeah, Princess. Uh, here, I have to it's, scroll back up. To it's see nice it. to see Mr. Toad getting getting a look in as well. Yes, Mr. Toad looks amazing. Um, there's loads. Kinisa, of, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Princess there's Kinisa. There's loads of Vinomation available. There's going to be loads of eaches. They really kind of gone. You've got the Aristocrats 45th Anniversary Limited Edition one, which I know this one's going to be really popular. Um, a limited edition size 2000, but you've got two chases in there, so that one's going to be very popular. I like the Force for Change shirt as well. Mm. Um, I like the, the Chernenberg uh, Fantasia 75th Anniversary Vinomation. And also, more importantly, and this is the one which um, is the one I'm kind of going to be asking for, is the Marvel Vision Limited Edition Vinomation, uh, Limited Edition Size 1500. Based, it looks like it's more based on the um, the movie version of him than the comic book version. And then you... Now, got... Is there two different versions of it? Well, you've got the well. This is you had the vision in the original Marvel series, but this um, is an eaches, so there's a variant, ver a, a, crystal, a crystal version, version of it. Same way they did with the pop vinyl. Ah, uh, I and, see. And then you've got the Star Wars Rebels limited edition vinylation, um, which um, is pretty cool as well. But now I've got one major problem with it is the fact that they, that Canon as the chaser, so it's going to be really hard to get out of. So that's my bug with that set. Yeah, Kanan. Kanan is definitely going to be a tough one. That's yeah. weird. Um, so it's, it's a bit of a strange one. I'm not too sure on the um, the Nutcracker figures. They look a bit odd. Yeah, I I, I don't know who's going to buy that, but mm -hmm. whoever does, power to them. <laughs> I mean, it's nice to see. I mean, it's starting to get a little bit of sort of Star Wars merchandise with the new um, troopers in there. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah it's a lot Force of... for Change shirts. Yeah. yeah, I think you're going to see a lot of that kind of merchandise in there. Um, there was another T-shirt as well that I like the look of, which had got Walt Disney on the front. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to have a look here, trying to think where that one was. And it has kind of got like the 55th um, day, and it's um, black and white with the opening day. And that was designed by uh, Jeff Grandino and Richard... Um, oh, I'm going to butcher that one, Trap Straw or something. But it's that. I think that one there looks... That one really sort of jumped out to me. And also, there's a children's T-shirt. With Oswald on, and I'm looking at going, I know that that's actually just a really cool just T-shirt straight up. So that would have been quite cool, um, as a, in general. I, I I don't know if I even got to. Uh, I didn't see that one. Yeah, that one was on the first page at the very bottom. It's just quite funny. It's like um, sort of. There's just so much, you know. You've got all these different um bags and pins, and if you're into into any kind of Disney collectible, they've got you covered. Um, and then there's lots of prints. So, generally, um, have you been? You've been to D23 before, is that right, Dave? That's correct. Yes. So, 
would you i mean i know a lot of people spend a lot of time in lines waiting for merchandise and sort of just in general um you know spending a lot of time in lines what would be your sort of suggestions of what to do personally would you rather be in the line for merchandise or would you rather go see something that you um at the event uh to be honest with you i usually line up for the arena presentations um it's just so much worth it to me. I mean, last year, I would have to line up maybe about three, four hours in advance just for each one. Like, the first day was um, was the live-action presentation. Um, so all the live-action movies that were going to come out, um, they would be showing previews or, or uncut scenes that haven't been, been shown before. And a lot of the actors and actresses would show up for it. Second day was animation. Same thing. They would show all the... I mean... I saw Inside Out concept. I saw a lot of good dinosaur uh, clips that nobody has seen before. I saw those back in 2013. So it's like you get to see a lot. I mean, I, Zootopia, I saw some stuff for that as well. But anyways, and then the last day is usually Disney Interactive, and you know that's when I got to see the whole debut of uh, Disney Infinity too. So, I mean, it's definitely worth it for me to line up for those because those are the type of things I like. But I know people who will show up in, in, like, for example, there was these designer dolls that they were making with the princesses. Yeah. And I knew people who were lining up five hours ahead of time just so they can get them. So it just depends what you're into, what you really want. Yeah. Um, definitely what I suggest to everybody is keep an eye on the schedule. I mean, the closer we get to the event, the sooner you'll get more details as to what's going to happen. But once you see the schedule, make your choice. Plan ahead. And, and decide what you're going to go see before the event because that's going to make your life a lot easier. Yeah, I mean, I know, um, you know, a lot of people can spend literally most of their days just in lines. So I know from sort of someone that's not at the parks and not at the event, you know, when you see the merchandise that you might want, you know, people picking up items for other people, it takes a long time. You know, they, they get, have to be a little bit more of patience with people. Um, and I'd say if you're after just common stuff that's very high edition size, I'd maybe suggest just waiting till afterwards and picking it up on the secondary market. Um, just to, because there's going to be so much available. Um, this year, uh, the Vinylmations, for example, are all eaches. So I know a lot of people want to buy the blind boxes to get the variants. But if you're only in the common, I'd say maybe it might be worth just waiting and picking up afterwards rather than trying to get out of the blind box because I don't think that'd be a problem. Um, pins as well. There's lots of limited edition pins. I think things like um, I can't imagine things like the t-shirts and stuff are going to be too hard to get hold of. But you know, a lot of this stuff was still available on the on the shop floor. You know, days afterwards, and people could just walk in and pick it up. But there's always that kind of rush at the beginning to go pick everything up. Yeah. But yeah, no. So there's it's a lot of um, a lot of merchandise available there, and there's like a lot of customs and prints and stuff. I must admit, I, th I th in some ways by not being there, it does mean it does restrict my ac my um, desires for stuff. But there's just loads, just absolute loads of bits and pieces there that just look really, really cool. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I think you know as we get closer to um, sort of D23, um, I know a is going and so is Travis and we've got um, Robert as well from um, this kingdom we've got three of our members all going to the event and yeah they're going to be reporting back to us from D23 anything else you want to add on to that Abe? Um, aside from the whole you know planning your 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 trip ahead um, definitely be prepared to have lots of crowds there I mean because it's going to get busy it's going to be just like being at Disneyland lots of people walking around yeah um, and also I do believe they they created the fast pass system for certain yeah. panels last year or two years ago so uh be prepared for that to happen as well so that's why yeah. i said plan ahead it makes it makes sense in some ways to, if they can implement it you know to stop people from lining up because lines are all very fine but you know for days and days and days it can it can be exhausting and just you know it can make the whole thing rather slow and dull Absolutely. Yeah. But now we're going to have more on that later. I'm sure we're going to see lots of Star Wars stuff at the event. Didn't see too much Marvel uh, merchandise. There's no, I didn't see any merchandise for Marvel in there, which I was surprised at. But maybe Marvel will be having their own stuff later on. I can't imagine. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I agree. Oh, yeah. There was the, Mar the Marvel v v vision, I just remembered. But, yeah, there's not a huge, huge amount in that. Okay, guys. I think... Um,
I'll leave that on there. And big thank you for A for joining me on this one. If you haven't already done so, remember to hit that subscribe button. Comment below. Tell us what you want. What was what was the um, items that you'd like to see? Remember to check out um, our Patreon um, over at um, sorterapps.com and magicbrandcollectors.com. And also going to give a shout out to um, the Infinity Museum James as well for being one of our Patreons. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we shall see you guys in another video. Bye. Bye.